Hey guys, it's Jennifer Sparks. Today I'm gonna to be taking you on a little tour of Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. I'm here with my husband, Kelly. Uh, we're staying up at the Water's Edge, which is in Westbrook, Connecticut. For some reason, the GPS took us this way, which I never went before, so it was pretty exciting. Mohegan Sun has plenty of free self-parking in the parking garages. They also have valet parking. This is filmed October 2021. If you are new to my channel, I started this channel about six months ago, just trying to highlight wonderful things to do in Connecticut. The parking garage was called Indian Summer. They're all named something different. <laughs> you have to remember where you park at the end of the night. <laughs> When you enter Mohegan from the parking garage, it'll take you right into the heart of the wolf den if you park in Indian summer. It is really an awesome part of Mohegan Sun. Very similar concept as Mohegan in the Poconos. It's like a circular area and it has like restaurants and stores on the outside. And then there's a walkway that goes to the other casino that has all kinds of stores, almost like Foxwoods with the outlets. Over here, we're gonna have where the ticket center is. If you wanna go to the, a main show, they have a big arena. I've seen Def Leppard there several times, many, many times. <laughs> I've seen Tony Bennett, um, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I've seen so many concerts at this place. This here is the Waterfall Bar. This would be where everybody congregates before the concerts. It's an awesome, awesome place. Connected to the waterfall bar, you'd find Tuscany, which has outside seating, or you could go inside. It's very cave-like, it's an Italian restaurant, really good. This is two floors. Um, the bottom floor mostly is stores, and the upper floor is mostly restaurants. Really, really cool places to go. And super close to all this is the Mohegan Hotel, which unfortunately I didn't have time to tape, but I plan on doing that in the very near future go in there and hopefully get and see the rooms and giving you a little tour of the hotel because if you're going to a concert here you gotta get a room here <laughs> it is it's just so much fun all my all right i'm gonna go take a little walk now and i'm gonna take you with me to go check out some of these menus so you can get an idea of all the kind of restaurants that they have here most of these places take reservations this right here is michael jordan steakhouse would be his more casual sports bar. If you're enjoying this tour, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be working on some Foxwoods uh, casino videos as well. All right, we're going to go down the other side now. There's some like different Asian places, seafood places, and then we're going to have a drink over at the Dubliner. If you enjoy casino tours, you may want to check out my other channel because I have a ton of them on there. It's called um, Traveling with Jennifer Sparks Savoy, where I go to Atlantic City and I go to Vegas and all kinds of good stuff. It's also a lot of resort reviews as well. This channel here is my new channel just about Connecticut, the, the state that I live in. <laughs> Okay, we reached the Dubliner now. <laughs> we saw the signs outside and I was like, oh yeah, I definitely want to try one of these pumpkin mudslides. So we went in for a drink and a little tour of the place. But stick around because after this, we're going to be going to the casino and I'm going to show you some of the games that we played on the slot machines. Yes, my friends, that tasted as good as it looked. <laughs> it wasn't like an ice cream thing. It was it was liquidy, but it was really good. And my husband got a blood orange margarita. All right, now we're gonna just take a little walk around because I really love the theming here. It actually inspired me to paint one of my rooms in my house all red. <laughs> I just love the red in this place. Dubliner is very popular for before and after concerts. I've spent a lot of time in this room here <laughs> after concerts, hanging out with friends. Hoping to get back again here real soon so I could videotape more of the restaurants that are here. This was just a pretty quick trip here. 
But in the meantime, I found outside um, walking to the casino a big chart of all the different restaurants that they have so you could kind of get a, an idea. Plus, you could check on the website. You know, they have full menus and stuff if you go on the website. It's mohegansun.com. Also, uh, after this, I'm going to show you the list of the bands that are going to be in the Wolf Den for free. Here's the shows right here. If you haven't been to the Wolf Den and you want to see what it's like, I just published a video a couple days ago where I went into the Wolf Den and took videos of it and the seating and stuff. If you want to check that out, I'll link that video at the end of this video. Now it's for some slot time. I went to Willy Wonka because that one is usually really good to me, but not today. It wasn't really working out. So <laughs> I ended up going to the Wizard of Oz machines, which were a little bit little bit more kind to me. All that hoopla and I think I like won like nine dollars <laughs> so I decided to leave Willy Wonka and I ended up um, going to the Wizard of Oz I always play minimum bet so I never really win a lot but I never really lose a lot either these Wizard of Oz machines has an up charge though if you pe play a little more you get to activate this witch which is so exciting <laughs> the witch comes down and gives you wild cards <laughs> I don't know. I think it's 75 cents a spin or something like that. But I was doing pretty good. She was like, you know, being a little kind to me that day. This was one of my bigger spins of the day. <laughs> uh, I, I, I ended up leaving there with maybe like, you know, $40 more than what I wa walked in there with. So like, to me, that's a, an excellent day. <laughs> if I break out even, I still feel like I'm winning. If you're still with me, you rock. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And um, please subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends if they want to see what Mohegan Sun is like. I'm making these videos to sort of, you know, journal my experiences and to help other people in the meantime find cool things to do in Connecticut. This is Jennifer Sparks, your host. Be good to one another. Safe travels to you and have an excellent afternoon in Connecticut.